so many of you probably know, but I'm a very big beta removed content connoisseur. I also love Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you combine Red Dead Redemption 2 and removed content, to me, it's pretty interesting. So I'm thinking you find the Red Dead Redemption 2 wiki removed content. There's a lot removed. There's a lot of removed things in this game, but this isn't everything. The cutting room floor as well also has a lot of stuff here. This isn't even finished though. There's, a, there's some interesting information here. Some removed audio files and stuff like that. Well, we already know, though. Red Dead Redemption 2 has no shortage of removed audio files. There's there's a whole last mod that re-adds cut dialogue into the game. Another interesting thing is Tempest Rim, which is in the game, but you can't get there. This area is completely modeled, but you can't get here. Uh, remnants of Coulter in Tempest Rim. The entirety of Amberino was changed, so Tempest Rim was basically just made obsolete. It is marked on the map evidently, but you can't get here. Decided to fire up Red Dead 2. Oh shit, the uh... Uh... Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Fuck. They really want me to play GTA 5. Every single time the Rockstar Games launcher opens, it opens on GTA 5. Oh, would you look at that? The game finally loaded. There it is. Okay, Tempest Room, right there. You see that? This is inaccessible. I'm going to set a waypoint up, uh, up here. I'm going to go up there and see what I can see. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was going to ride all that way? Nah, teleport. I'm too lazy. I don't know this area of the map that well. I only go up here for the home robbery mission. From what I read, when they changed the story and they redesigned it, Amberino. They changed the map, they moved Coulter, and made Tempest Rim uh, unex inaccessible because of them simplifying the story or changing the story somewhat. Originally Coulter was in Tempest Rim over here, but then they moved it over here and decided to just make this area inaccessible entirely. It's weird that it's marked on the map. Making progress, I guess I can't make it up this hill. Oh no. There's a bear up there, and I cannot make it up that hill. Don't try me, you motherfucker. It jumped off and killed itself. Okay, well that answers that. Um, fuck. Well, on the wiki page it did say that there was a bear that could spawn. My hat fell off. It did say there was a bear that spawned up here. See, it looks like you can climb up that, right? Like, that looks like you can climb up that. Like, there's other parts of the map with, like, steep, like, hi hills this steep that you can climb up. But this area? You try to climb up here? Nope. Very weird that it's like that. It's very weird that this area is completely off limits. It doesn't make sense for this entire area to be off limits because it's a pretty big area. Like, it's like this entire section is completely off limits, which is weird because it's a massive area. Luckily, I have the power of mods. So if I want to get up there, all I do, put a waypoint there, open up the mod menu, teleport, waypoint, now I'm up here. So this is Tempest Room, apparently. It's still considered Grizzlies. It still says Grizzlies up here. This is a massive area that's off-limits, and it's really weird that it's off-limits, because everything up here works as it should, for the most part, like animals do. At least in this area, they work fine. Maybe not in the snowy areas, but right here, they should work fine. That Like that deer, if I shoot at it, it should run. Maybe not? Maybe the wiki lied. It said that uh, AI up here worked, but I don't know because I just shot at these fuckers and they didn't move. Maybe maybe not. Maybe the wiki was wrong. Cause <laughs> wow, I really missed. I'm not doing this on purpose, I swear. Yeah, it seems, as, it seems as though the wiki was wrong. The, the animals don't really work up here as they should. I don't know, it said they, the AI only stopped working in the snowy areas. Okay, well there's snowy parts up here. I wonder if this is like actual snow though. Like if this is, if it's or if it's just like the 2D snow that they use on the like areas we're not supposed to get to. Nope, this is actual snow. This is actual snow. This is not like the 2D texture of snow that they use. At least, okay, at least not over here. Here it is. Here, it's, like, this is actual snow. It's, like, it, like, deforms and shit. I want to know how far up here I can actually go before the game, like, says I can't go up here anymore. 
Like, because this should still be within bounds, technically. Yeah, the snow is still, still deforms. It does not say I'm in Tempest Dream. That is really weird. It says I'm in the Grizzlies. I'm not in Tempest Dream. That's why. Where am I? I don't, am I supposed to be able to get here? Because, I mean, the snow deforms, and I'm not in Tempest Dream, so. I don't think you can get here, though. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get up here, but. Then again, I'm, I could be wrong. Because, I don't know, unless there's like a rock carving or something around here. If I just keep going this way and then head right, I will be a different shrimp. There's animals up here. I mean, there's animal spawns, but they don't work. Like, the AI doesn't work. There's just a ram here. Bighorn ram. Rocky Mountain bighorn ram. It just follows me. Brazilian fucker. This kind of reminds me of like the area that they're at at the beginning of the game, but it's not because the the area during that plays during the first cutscene is like spawned in. It doesn't actually exist on the map. Bighorn sheep. Wait, what the fuck? There's a male and female. What are you guys doing up here? I guess I'll never know. It's weird. I didn't know sheep spawned around here. This should again still be all off limits. I mean, it is because the animals AI doesn't work, so it is all off limits. But it's just really weird. This is a lot of the map. Like the snow is all deformable and shit. So like it's clear that you were meant to go up here at some point, or like you were originally able to. There's nothing of interest here though. There's no like buildings or anything. But I mean, all the snow is deformable. So like, why why would they bother making the snow deformable if you're not even able to go up here? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. This is a big fucking area. Like look at this. Jesus. I can't imagine why though like I, I don't know why they would just completely block this area off from the map like it doesn't make a lot of sense like it's a lot of amberino and amberino is already small as it is like you're not able to go to a lot of areas just getting rid of this entire area does not really make a lot of sense to me oh yeah tempest room there we are we're finally in tempest room but the game considers to be tempest room even though like basically all of this is but yeah you can't get up here naturally which is really weird i don't i don't really understand why rockstar would just block this area off from the people. It's raining. That's nice. Nice change from snow to rain. That's very nice. Nice transition. So this AI up here should work. I mean, that grizzly bear did work. I'll give it that. Oh yeah, I go up here and I'm just... slip. <laughs> yeah, they really do not want you up here. I go anywhere near here and I fucking freak out. Arthur's just stuck over here. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's so weird that they would just block this off, because, okay, I will say this, this looks like you were able to just, like, go up here. Like, this looks like this should be connected. Now I gotta teleport back up, because I'm stuck down here, and <laughs> I can't get back up. Does the weather work the way it should? Because it's raining right now, and not snowing. The noise of the rain is gone, but the rain is still here. <laughs> I, uh... I don't know if the weather exactly works the way it should. Yeah, how how far can I go before, like, the game just, like, doesn't let me go any further? Like, those mountains. I don't even know if those mountains are real. Like, that's the thing. They could just be, like, a skybox. But Rockstar doesn't usually put skyboxes in their games. Things don't look right this far out. Like, this... Okay, they, they just gave up at this point. You can see they give up with the deformable snow and just go for a texture. Unless that just isn't solid, which is possible. No, okay. This is solid. It is solid, but they just decided just to go to get rid of the deformable snow because it doesn't make sense to be out here. So it's just a texture now. It's not actual snow anymore. There's still animal spawns out here, though. Why am I using stimulants? I could literally just give my horse infinite health. What am I doing? Stamina never drain. See? <laughs> All I have to do. I'm just not very smart. Uh, those don't look solid. Um, by the looks of it, those look very not solid. You know, I don't really. It's not really necessary to have stuff this far out because, like, again, you're not gonna be able to see all this. So, what's even the point of having stuff here? Just like, don't even bother. You know, don't even bother like putting anything out here. They can easily just make the world end. They don't have to keep making mountains and stuff though. But they do for whatever reason. I do want to know if this is actually solid though. So, we'll see. It is not. There's no There's no collision there at all. If I, like, throw a fire bottle down there. Yeah, there's no collision there. That being said, it's still really weird that you can go this far out and not have any issues. Because, like, I'm really far off the map, like, looking at it. <laughs> it's, this is how far out you have to go for there to not be collision. You can go pretty fucking far out. It's weird that it takes them so long to just swap to using a texture instead of, like, actual deformable snow. 
thought that was an animal. It's a rock. Do not slide off the map, please. I'm surprised. Like, the game is completely fine with you being out here. Like, it, they don't care. Like, they don't do anything to prevent you from being out this far. Because, like, I'm, I I have a mod that disables the invisible sniper, but even then, like, I'm pretty sure there's, he doesn't activate or anything when you're out this far. That looks really weird, though. It is solid, yeah. It don't look right, but it is solid. Tree stump out here. Why is there just a tree stump? What the hell? Oh, I thought I found a point where the map just ends. Nope. Nope. It continues. Is that a frozen lake? Hold on a minute. Where are we? Where am I where am I looking? I'm nowhere near where I started. Is that a frozen lake though? Let me hold on a minute. What the fuck? Hold on a minute. Okay, we gotta stop. There is just a lake out here. Is this lake solid? No. <laughs> um. Okay, well, the game doesn't consider it a lake, but this is a lake, by the looks of it. This looks like it should be ice. There's no ice actually here. I can just walk through it, but... It looks like there's supposed to be ice here. So there's just a whole last frozen lake out here. It's not a solid frozen lake, but it is still a frozen lake. Nonetheless, which is... Interesting, is this one real? No, it's not. I can already tell just by looking at it that's not real. There's bushes going through it. But it's weird that there's, like, frozen lakes out here. There's trees in it. At some point where we were meant to go out this... Like, we were able to go out this far, but they changed it. Because, like, I mean, this could easily be part of the map. All they'd have to do is just add deformable snow, and that's it. Because what's... Like, why are there trees out here? What is the point of adding trees? These, these aren't even, like, fake trees either. Like, they are actual fucking trees. Are they solid? Yeah, they're solid. They are actual trees. They are actual trees. Yeah. Everything works fine, though. Like, nothing doesn't work yeah. as it should. <laughs> like, physics doesn't break or anything. Like, sometimes when you go out, like, it, like in San Andreas, when you're not really far, the game would start to, like, have graphical cor corruptions and shit. Like, I'm surprised, like, the physics don't break here or something. Like, everything still works, though. Like, there's even effects. Like, what the hell? Whoa! Shit. No, don't roll off the map, please. Arthur. Arthur! Uh... Back up to su my horse is alive now. He was dying, but he's alive now. Just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna equip the this. Just for the hell of it, just because I can. <laughs> just because I'm out this far. That's just a green hill, though, right there. Well, we're back in the formable snow territory, so we are entering the boundaries of the map again. We are entering West Elizabeth. I am going to reveal the map because I feel like that is just a lot easier if I did that. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to sn to rain up here. I, it doesn't seem right. I don't know. There's one thing I do want to do, though. I just want to ride my horse off the edge of the map. I know that people were probably waiting for that, and I never did it because I got distracted. But I want to ride my horse off the edge of the map. <laughs> PS2 graphics, Jesus. Let's see how good this game truly is. Is that what? Am I gonna die? I died! Now, the question is how long will it take for the game to warp me back? Will it even warp me back? It didn't take that long because it didn't do a loading screen. Now, the true question is, am I on the map? <laughs> like, Arthur's fucking soaking wet. Nope, I am on the map, 100%. Okay, well, that's boring. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a teleport to Mexico. Well, okay, we'll go there in a second, but just tell, first of all, teleport me to a new Austin. I just want to see if I get shot. Well, first things first, it's snowing. And I'm not getting shot. Oh shit. Right, yeah, they exist. Ow. Right, right. Hold on. I'm getting. Yeah, I got. Okay, well, I'm here. It's snowing in New Austin. First of all, that's very unusual. But. I didn't want to know if I could swim here or if I'll immediately die. Am I able to swim? I am able to swim. 
Oh shit. Ow. Dumb horsey, and now you die. I do think that I could try and swim. I might die immediately though. Nope, it lets me swim here, but it's way too far for me to like be able to swim all that way. Arthur will run out of stamina before then. Now we walk in here and see how far we can go before Arthur dies. <laughs> I might just start drowning at some point. And if that does, I'm going to make sure the menu is open and I'm going to give myself immunity. Oh! My stamina drained, but since I have infinite stamina, I'm not drowning anymore. No, god mode. <laughs> Fuck you. My hat fell off, but I'm still- you're not gonna stop me. Arthur looks horrible. Why does Arthur look so pale? It might be the snow, I don't know. The, the current is pushing me very far downstream. Eventually I'll be there. <laughs> One day I'll get there. You know, when I first played Red Dead 2, I thought that the whole Arthur loses stamina while swimming thing was kind of stupid. I, I used to think that. I was like, why? Why? His stamina goes down so quickly when he's swimming. Why? Doesn't, I mean, in GTA 5, you could swim for as long as you wanted to. I mean, Red Dead 2, you can't. But now I know why. As someone who swims occasionally, I, I understand why now. But hey, I made it to Mexico. <laughs> Immigration! Fuck yeah! Illegal immigration! Kind of wish I had my horse. Can I just teleport my horse to me? Well, that was easy. Like, there is clearly a path here. Which is weird. It's not marked on the map, but there's a path. It makes sense it's not marked on the map. Oh shit. I just ran my horse to fucking cacti. I'm just continuing to do it as well. My weapons are probably in horrible condition for swimming. Yep, they are all. <laughs> yep. Why am I running through cacti? I'm just torturing my horse at this point. It's crazy how much- This is all, like, rendered and shit. There's, like, actual solid terrain. Yeah, this is just- Mexico was meant to be in the game originally, because, I mean, this is all out here. I've never played Red Dead 1, but maybe this is, like, what New Austin looked like in Red Dead 1. I don't know. There's a little cavern here, which is pretty cool. Okay, well, the snow is inside the cavern, but- <laughs> It's pretty cool that there's like a whole ass, like, canyon here that you can go into. Maybe this was in the first game. I don't know. I've never played Red Dead 1, so I don't know. I will eventually. Soon I will play Red Dead 1, but as, as of now, I have not played it. And I will I will probably make a video talking about it. Even though, uh, like, Red Dead 1 has been out for over a decade. <laughs> Shut up. I'm still going to make a video about it. I can't, I can't express my love for the Red Dead series enough. What the fuck? Mexico was basically completely modeled for the most part. I mean, there's like tra there's there's like paths and shit that you can go on. Maybe I shouldn't have the snow, but I like the snow because I get to I get an excuse to wear Arthur's winter jacket because I have a feeling it would be very hot if I it's 12 degrees. What the hell? What if I okay? Well, I'm just gonna reset the weather actually, just because I can. I want to know what, it, what the temperature will change to. Oh, yeah, that's- oh, look at the temp- look at the fucking te holy sh- oh my god! Arthur is dying. I will say this looks absolutely stunning, though. Looks very beautiful, but Arthur is also sweating to death, probably. I'm gonna put on something that isn't so fucking hot. But there we go. What- do I- I- do I not have the fucking- oh, I do, okay, good. I was gonna say, do I not have the artwork outfit? I do. Okay, so Arthur can live in something that's a little bit- <laughs> that's not killing him. You can take a screenshot of that if you want. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. It's crazy how Mexico is completely modeled. It's just not accessible, but just run through cacti. Yeah, Arthur. That's just no problem for Arthur. Just running straight into fucking cacti. Just keep going. Why are there dogs barking? What the hell? We, we're in the middle of a desert. Well. I'm turning god mode off. It's no fun. How far- how much of Mexico is modeled? I'm assuming all of Mexico that was in the first game is modeled. I don't know why anything less of that. I think- I, I know that there's one thing here that is not modeled. I'm assuming those are ambient noises, but I'm ass that usually plays when you're in a town, right? So I think the game might have like ambient trigger noises for towns. There's a path here, I think. But there's like a trigger or something for ambient town noises. What the hell's that? What is that? 
go to it and find out what it is. Oh, they're trees. They looked really weird, though. They look like, like water towers or something. The hell? It's just fun, man, to explore areas you can't get to. How's that? I'm curious, okay? I'm curious about a lot of things. I want to know what all this stuff is. The game never registers you as being in Mexico, which I guess makes sense because you can't get here, so it kind of makes sense for it to not register, but... Yeah, there's no animal spawns or anything. There's ambient noises, but besides that, there's no spawns or anything. That's a nice tunnel. It's crazy that all this, all this stuff is still left here. Like, it's all modeled and shit, despite the fact that you don't ever come here. Like, this tunnel is here. It's on a path that also isn't marked on the map. I mean, maybe somebody can make a parallel between this and Red Dead 1, but as somebody who has not played Red Dead 1, I am not the man to do that. Can't get up there. What if I could teleport up there? Oh shit! Trauma queen. <laughs> that fucking hurt. <laughs> that looked painful as fuck. Just wanted to do that. That would be fun. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Obviously, the texture up here isn't great. It's because I don't think you're meant to see up here. Well, <laughs> I'm up here now. It's like how stretched out that texture is. Good lord. All right. Well, there's only. Let's just let's just go. Fuck it. Yep. Oh. Arthur spit at me and my failures. Oh. Uh oh. Well, this is interesting. I think this is meant to be the limits of Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like this should be, like, a limit. It's actually kind of weird. Mexico... Hold on, wait a minute. Let me go around this, actually. I want to... Because I don't think you're meant to be up here, but... I think I teleported exactly to the limits of Mexico. Uh-oh. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> you know what they say. Dust yourself off and try again. I teleported exactly to the boundaries of Mexico, because it looks like Mexico actually has, like, a boundary around it. Like, the entirety... Where am I? Okay, well, this is the part of Mexico I'm not meant to be in. I think Mexico does also have map boundaries as well, like the rest of the map. So, even more proof that this was supposed to be part of the game. Well, I'm not in Big Valley. I'm in fucking Mexico. What the hell is this? It looks like a parking lot. The hell? That hill does not look real. Wait, what? I'm off the map. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Wait. Yeah, the minimap just ends here. Because, okay, well, to be fair, I'm out of bounds on a place I shouldn't even be able to get to. I'm out of bounds in a place that's technically out of bounds. Yeah, I'm so far away from the actual game world that my HUD is just gone. I guarantee... Oh, it's back now. What the fuck? What is happening? Wait. What? Huh? I'm so confused. The music is just gone, by the way. This is very eerie. We're getting there, though. That looks like a fucking picture. It doesn't even look real. It's kind of weird that Mexico is like an orange filter on it. Like, everything looks a lot more orange than it does in any other part of the map. It's like fucking... <laughs> it's like Breaking Bad. Mexico is just yellow. Like, the is it just me or the clouds not look right anymore? Oh, here we are. I think we finally hit the edge of Mexico. If it renders in high quality, I'm going to cry. Let's see what happens when I just ride off the cliff. There's water down here. It's so... Why is there water out this far? That's so weird. Anyway, to Guarma, Mexico. Wait, there's a fucking building here? Wait a minute, what? what? Oh, okay, well... Weird. I never knew that this was here. That's a wall. I can't see. It's dark. Hold on. I gotta change the time. I, I think Arthur might be a bit tired. Or maybe he's just hot. No, he's not tired. He's just hot. Okay. Well, I didn't know there was a building over here. It's somewhat solid. There's a waterfall over there. I don't know about that either. Climb. Scale the wall. <gasps> Pistols, did Jesus? Well, okay. 
Okay, J Arthur is getting covered in dirt. Horse, come to me! Oh wait, no, there's no AI. Right, yeah, there's no AI padding. The horse can't come to me because there's no AI padding. That makes sense. Yeah, anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was teleporting to Gorma. Tahiti, boys. We're in Tahiti now. Arthur should probably take a dip in the water. Let's clear off the dirt, the dust from Mexico. Uh oh, no, Arthur, you're fine. You're on land. There we go. Just drink some... St just inject yourself. Yeah, stab yourself with the needle. There you go. Your horse is not on the island. Yes, he is! He's right here! What the fuck are you talking about? Your horse is not on the island. Bullshit, he's not on the island. He's f I'm fucking looking at him. Guarma, I mean, again, I disabled the sniper, so... I should be able to go as far as I want into the woods. Is there, are there actually people here? There are people here. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Por favor, sin problema. What an island you folks have here. No hablo inglés. Real proper shithole. No hablo inglés. Just exactly how dumb are you? Por favor, no sigas. Ah, déjeme vivir, por... Auxilio! Hello. Guard. Okay there? Hola. I imagine you got your work cut out for you around here. Trying to hide how much of a coward you are behind that badge? Me estás hablando. I ain't finished with you. Speed him up. <laughs> Easy. I do like how the Guarma music actually plays. Let's see what we can explore. Let's see if we can fight some animals. Going to the woods. Go find Bigfoot on this Caribbean island. You know, okay, you're able to go over here. The sniper must kill you by this point. Because this doesn't look very fleshed out terrain wise. Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> it's very simple at this point. The trees are phasing in and out of existence. The shadows of the trees are phasing in. Are they still solid? No. <laughs> the volcano is not solid either. Oh, shit. This island is pretty big, despite the fact that you can't explore the most of it. The, uh... That was that. Oh, shit. I think I had the barriers of the map. <laughs> yeah. I think the skybox is glitching out a little bit. It's crazy how far you can ride, like, before the skybox, or the, before the bar the map barrier set in, because you're really not able to get over here. Oh, Arthur is phasing it out of existence. Oh. Oh. Oh, my horse is gone. My horse is just gone. He just vanished. <laughs> a te a teleport me to Mexico. <laughs> oh, just put me in water. What? Did I? F is the entire? Wait a minute. Is the entire map flooded? Wait a minute, I'm very curious. Is everything underwater now? Because that spawn did not put me in the- Yeah, the entire- What the fuck? The entirety of Mexico is flooded. Wait, okay, hold on. I'm gonna teleport to McFarland's Ranch. Yeah, the entirety of Mexico is flooded. It's not the main map, it's just Mexico. Okay, there it goes. Why are all the icons so small? Okay, there we go. What the fuck? My horse, he just spawned out of nowhere. But the entirety of that ah, was underwater. Can I spawn a train? 